American Lobster, Wikipedia article audio The American Lobster, Homerus americanus, is a species of lobster found on the Atlantic coast of North America, chiefly from Labrador to New Jersey. It is also known as Atlantic Lobster, Canadian Lobster, True Lobster, Northern Lobster, Canadian Reds, or Maine Lobster. It can reach a body length of 64 cm, and a mass of over 20 kg, making it not only the heaviest crustacean in the world, but also the heaviest of all living arthropod species. Its closest relative is the European lobster Homerus gamarus, which can be distinguished by its coloration and the lack of spines on the underside of the rostrum. American lobsters are usually bluish-green to brown with red spines, but several color variations have been observed. Homerus americanus is distributed along the Atlantic coast of North America, from Labrador in the north to Cape Hatteras, North Carolina in the south. South of New Jersey, the species is uncommon and landings in Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, and North Carolina usually make up less than 0.1% of all landings. A fossil claw assigned to Homerus americanus was found at Nantucket, dating from the Pleistocene. In 2013, an American lobster was caught at the Farallon Islands off the coast of California. Distribution Description Homerus americanus commonly reaches 824 inches long and weighs 19 pounds in weight, but has been known to weigh as much as 44 pounds, making this the heaviest crustacean in the world. Together with Sagmariasis verosi, it is also the longest decapod crustacean in the world. An average adult is about 9 in long and weighs 1.5 to 2 pounds. The longest American lobsters have a body 64 centimeters long. According to Guinness World Records, the heaviest crustacean ever recorded was an American lobster caught off Nova Scotia, Canada, weighing 44.4 pounds. The closest relative of H. americanus is the European lobster, Homerus gamarus. The two species are very similar, and can be crossed artificially, although hybrids are unlikely to occur in the wild since their ranges do not overlap. The two species can be distinguished by several characteristics. The antennae measure about two in long and split into Y-shaped structures with pointed tips. Each tip exhibits a dense zone of hair tufts staggered in a zigzag arrangement. These hairs are covered with multiple nerve cells that can detect odors. Larger, thicker hairs found along the edges control the flow of water, containing odor molecules, to the inner sensory hairs. The shorter antennals provide a further sense of smell. By having a pair of olfactory organs, a lobster can locate the direction a smell comes from, much the same way humans can hear the direction a sound comes from. In addition to sensing smells, the antennals can judge water speed to improve direction finding. Lobsters have two urinary bladders located on either side of the head. Lobsters use scents to communicate what and where they are, and those scents are in the urine. They project long plumes of urine 1-2 meters in front of them, and do so when they detect a rival or a potential mate in the area. The first pair of pariapods is armed with a large, asymmetrical pair of claws. The larger one is the crusher, and has rounded nodules used for crushing prey, the other is the cutter, which has sharp inner edges, and is used for holding or tearing the prey. Head The normal coloration of Homerus americanus is dark bluish-green to greenish-brown, redder on the body and claws, and greener on the legs. This coloration is produced by mixing yellow, 
blue, and red pigments. Despite the rarity of strangely colored lobsters, many more of them are reported being caught. It is unclear as to whether this is an artifact of social media making reporting and sharing more accessible, or if it is due to a drop in predator populations. An estimated 1 in 2 million lobsters are blue. A genetic mutation causes a blue lobster to produce an excessive amount of a particular protein. The protein and a red carotenoid molecule known as astaxanthin combine to form a blue complex known as crustaceanin, giving the lobster its blue color. In 2009 a blue lobster was caught in New Hampshire, in 2011, two blue lobsters were caught in Canada, one off of Prince Edward Island, and another in the Esgenupatite J First Nation Territory in New Brunswick. Another was caught in May 2012 off Nova Scotia. A blue lobster was caught off Pine Point in Scarborough, Maine in August 2014, and was donated to a local aquarium to join three other blue lobsters. In August, 2016, one was caught in Massachusetts off the coast of Cape Cod. In July 2017, a blue lobster was caught near the New Hampshire main border and was donated to the Seacoast Science Center in Rye, New Hampshire. Thorax Yellow lobsters are the result of a rare genetic mutation and the odds of finding one are estimated to be 1 in 30 million. Reports of yellow lobsters include one at the mouth of the Kennebec River off Whaleback Island, Maine, on August 1. 2006, off Prince Edward Island, Canada, on June 11, 2009, one discovered in Wainani Kai Seafoods in Kalihi, Hawaii in a shipment from Nova Scotia on April 30, 2010, in Narragansett Bay off Rhode Island on July 31, 2010, and one off the coast of Black Point in Niantic. Connecticut on June 9, 2014. In July 2010, an albino lobster was reportedly caught in Gloucester. An estimated only 1 in 100 million lobsters is albino, entirely lacking in colored pigments. On August 28, 2010, a calico lobster with a mottled orange and black shell was reported to have been caught in Maine. Only albino lobsters are rarer, and orange lobsters such as these are a 1 in 30 million catch. Coloration Several lobsters have been caught with different colorings on their left and right halves. For instance, on July 13, 2006, a Maine fisherman caught a brown and orange lobster, and submitted it to the local oceanarium, which had only seen three lobsters of this kind in 35 years. The chance of finding one is estimated at 1 in 50 million. Many split-colored lobsters observed have been hermaphroditic chimeras, but not all. Life Cycle Red lobster coloration is a typical result of cooking. There is a 1 in 10 million chance of catching a live red lobster. Ecology Mating only takes place shortly after the female has molted, and her exoskeleton is still soft. The female releases a pheromone which causes the males to become less aggressive and to begin courtship which involves a courtship dance with claws closed. Eventually, the male inserts spermatophores into the female's seminal receptacle using his first pleopods, the female may store the sperm for up to 15 months. The female releases eggs through her oviducts, and they pass the seminal receptacle and are fertilized by the stored sperm. They are then attached to the female's pleopods using an adhesive, where they are cared for until they are ready to hatch. The female cleans the eggs regularly, and fans them with water to keep them oxygenated. 
The large telelecithal eggs may resemble the segments of a raspberry, and a female carrying eggs is said to be in berry. Since this period lasts 10-11 months, buried females can be found at any time of year. In the waters off New England, the eggs are typically laid in July or August, and hatch the following May or June. The developing embryo passes through several molts within the egg, before hatching as a metanopleus larva. When the eggs hatch, the female releases them by waving her tail in the water, setting batches of larvae free. Diet The Metanopleus of H. americanus is 1-3 in long, transparent, with large eyes and a long spine projecting from its head. It quickly molts, and the next three stages are similar, but larger. These molts take 10-20 days during which the planktonic larvae are vulnerable to predation, only one in 1,000 is thought to survive to the juvenile stage. To reach the fourth stage the post-larva the larva undergoes metamorphosis, and subsequently shows a much greater resemblance to the adult lobster, is around 1-2 in long, and swims with its pleopods. At this stage, the lobster's claws are still relatively small so they rely primarily on tail flip escapes if threatened. After the next molt, the lobster sinks to the ocean floor, and adopts a benthic lifestyle. It molts more and more infrequently, from an initial rate of 10 times per year to once every few years. After one year, it is around 1-1.5 in long and after six years, it may weigh one pound. By the time it reaches the minimum landing size, an individual may have molted 25-27 times, and thereafter each molt may signal a 40%-50% increase in weight, and a 14% increase in carapace length. If threatened, adult lobsters will generally choose to fight unless they have lost their claws. The American lobster thrives in cold, shallow waters where there are many rocks and other places to hide from predators. It typically lives at a depth of 450 m, but can be found up to 480 m below the surface. The natural diet of H. americanus is relatively consistent across different habitats. It is dominated by mollusks, echinoderms, and polychaetes although a wide range of other prey items may be eaten, including other crustaceans, brittle stars, and nadarians. Lobsters in Maine have been shown to gain 35-55% to 55 of their calories from herring, which is used as bait for lobster traps. Only 6% of lobsters entering lobster traps to feed are caught. Gafkamia or red tail is an extremely virulent infectious disease of lobsters caused by the bacterium Aerococcus viridans. It only requires a few bacterial cells to cause death of otherwise healthy lobsters. The red tail common name refers to a dark orange discoloration of the ventral abdomen of affected lobsters. This is, in fact, the hemolymph or blood seen through the thin ventral arthrodial membranes. The red discoloration comes from astaxanthin, a carotenoid pigment exported to the blood during times of stress. The same sign is also seen in other diseases of lobsters and appears to be a nonspecific stress response, possibly relating to the antioxidant and immunostimulatory properties of the astaxanthin molecule. Diseases Epizootic shell disease is a bacterial infection which causes black lesions on the lobster's dorsal carapaces, reducing their saleability and sometimes killing the lobsters. Bacterial Limp lobster disease caused by systemic infection by the bacterium Vibrio fluvialis causes lobsters become lethargic and die. The rostrum of H. americanus bears one or more spines on the underside, which are lacking in H. gamarus, 
the spines on the claws of H. americanus are red or red-tipped, while those of H. gamarus are white or white-tipped, the underside of the claw of H. americanus is orange or red, while that of H. gamarus is creamy white or very pale red. Paramoebiasis is an infectious disease of lobsters caused by infection with the Sarcomastigopheron neoparamoeba pemiquidensis. This organism also causes amoebic gill disease in farmed Atlantic salmon, Salmo sala. Infection occurs throughout the tissues, causing granuloma-like lesions, especially within the ventral nerve cord, the interstices of the hepatopancreas and the antennal gland. Paramoebiasis is strongly suspected to play a prominent role in the rapid die-off of American lobsters in Long Island Sound that occurred in the summer of 1999. Excretory calcinosis in American lobsters in Long Island Sound was described in 2002. The disease causes mineralized calculi to form in the antennal glands and gills. These cause a loss of surface area around the gills, and the lobster eventually asphyxiates. Several reasons have been proposed for the cause of a recent outbreak of the disease. The most generally attributed factor is an increased duration of warmer temperatures in the bottom of the Long Island Sound. The American lobster was first described by Thomas Say in 1817 with the type locality of Long Branch, part of the coast of New Jersey. The name Say chose Astacus marinus was invalid as a junior homonym of Astacus marinus fabricius, 1775, which is in turn a junior synonym of Homerus gamarus. The American lobster was given its current scientific name of Homerus americanus by Henri Milne Edwards in his 1837 work Histoire naturelle des crustaces. The common name preferred by the Food and Agriculture Organization is American lobster, but the species is also known locally as the northern lobster, main lobster or simply lobster. Parasitic Environmental Taxonomy As food American lobsters are a popular food. They are commonly boiled or steamed. Hard shells can survive out of water for up to four or five days if kept refrigerated. Soft shells do not survive more than a few hours out of water. Lobsters are usually cooked alive which may be illegal in certain areas and which some people consider inhumane. One common way of serving lobster tail is with beef, known as surf and turf. Lobsters have a greenish or brownish organ called the tamale, which, like the liver and pancreas in a human, filters out toxins from the body. Some diners consider it a delicacy but others avoid it because they consider it a toxin source or dislike eating innards. A set of nutcrackers and a long, thin tool for pulling meat from inaccessible areas are suggested as basics, although more experienced diners can eat the animal with their bare hands or a simple tool. Eating a lobster can get messy, and most restaurants offer a lobster bib. Meat is generally contained in the larger claws and tails, and stays warm quite a while after being served. There is some meat in the legs and in the arms that connect the large claws to the body. There is also some small amount of meat just below the carapace around the thorax and in the smaller legs. Most lobsters come from the northeastern coast of North America with the Atlantic provinces of Canada and the U.S. state of Maine being the largest producers. They are caught primarily using lobster traps, although lobsters are also harvested as bycatch by bottom trawlers, fishermen using gill nets, and by scuba divers in some areas. Maine completely prohibits scuba divers from catching lobsters. 
Maine also strictly prohibits the landing of lobsters caught by bottom trawlers and other mobile gear. Massachusetts offers scuba divers lobster licenses for a fee, and they are only available to state residents. Rhode Island also requires divers to acquire a permit. Lobster traps are rectangular cages made of vinyl-coated galvanized steel mesh or wood, with woven mesh entrances. These are baited and lowered to the sea floor. They allow a lobster to enter, but make it difficult for the larger specimens to turn around and exit. This allows the creatures to be captured alive. The traps, sometimes referred to as pots, have a buoy floating on the surface, and lobstermen check their traps between one and seven days after setting them. The inefficiency of the trapping system has inadvertently prevented the lobster population from being overfished. Lobsters can easily escape the trap, and will defend the trap against other lobsters because it is a source of food. An estimated 10% of lobsters that encounter a trap enter, and of those that enter 6% will be caught. In the United States, the lobster industry is regulated. Every lobster fisher is required to use a lobster gauge to measure the distance from the lobster's eye socket to the end of its carapace, if the lobster is less than 3.25 inches long, it is too young to be sold and must be released back to the sea. There is also a legal maximum size of 5 and in Maine, meant to ensure the survival of a healthy breeding stock of adult males, but in parts of some states, such as Massachusetts, there is none. Also, traps must contain an escape hole or vent, which allows juvenile lobsters and bycatch species to escape. The law in Maine and other states dictates a second large escape hole or ghost panel must be installed. This hole is held shut through use of biodegradable clips made of ferrous metal. Should the trap become lost, the trap eventually opens, allowing the catch to escape. To protect known breeding females, lobsters caught carrying eggs are to be notched on a tail flipper. Following this, the female cannot be kept or sold, and is commonly referred to as a punch tail or as V-notched. This notch remains for two molts of the lobster exoskeleton, providing harvest protection and continued breeding availability for up to five years. North American Lobster Industry In the late 1990s and early 21st century, Lobster fishing was the cause of troubles between Acadians and Mi'kmaq First Nations in the Canadian Maritimes. The Acadian economy relied substantially on fisheries, especially lobster. In 1998, the Supreme Court of Canada ruled in favour of the First Nations and granted them unlimited rights to natural resources, based on an 18th century treaty. The federal government tried to take licenses and quotas from the traditional fishermen, whose fishing quota had already dropped dramatically in the years before, and give them to the natives. Burnt Church, a reserve between Miramichi and the Acadian town of Niguac, was the hub of these troubles. The tension increased and decreased with each fishing season, reaching its climax in April 2003 when a riot broke in the port of Shippigan, where three native-owned fishing ships and a fish processing plant were burnt down. Since then, efforts have been made to bring Acadians and natives closer together, and the tension has slowly abetted. American lobster tends to have a stable stock in colder northern waters, but gradually decreases in abundance moving southward. To manage lobster populations, more regulations and restrictions, geared towards achieving sustainable populations, are implemented gradually southward. Currently there is no published genome for the American lobster, although a transcriptome was published in 2016.
United States Canada Management Genetics